Now there's no real categorization to this list, it's kind of a mixed bag. However, a good number of these are new plugins that came out in 2020, while a bunch of others just received a big update within the last year. And then there's just a few of my personal favorites as well. If you want to check out a list of freebies that are available, I'm going to be publishing a video about that later on this week, so if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. As always, all the links will be down there in the video description, as well as the links to previous Roundup videos that I've published. And if you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, and let me know down in the comments section what are your favorite plugins for Adobe After Effects. So Mount MoGraph is known for their extremely popular motion plugin, which made my roundup list last year. Now their latest plugin, Wander, works in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. It allows users to surf endless libraries of GIFs, emojis, vector files, icon packs. It's a really simple user interface that's gonna allow you to search over 62 million media files, which you can instantly download, sort, and add to your project. So you probably know Battleaxe from their super popular Overlord plugin, which is essentially a vector workflow tool for Adobe After Effects. It allows you to immediately bring in Illustrator files into Adobe After Effects and vice versa. Well, Time Lord is like the Photoshop equivalent of that. It's really the quickest way to bring Photoshop layers and or timelines directly into Adobe After Effects. So this is a really powerful tool for frame by frame animation workflows. You can use it not only with Adobe Photoshop, but also Adobe Animate when you're working with Adobe After Effects. Now, even if you're new to frame by frame animation, the default layout of this tool is really great and you'll be up and running in no time. The new auto fill plugin from Plugin Everything had a lot of buzz when it came out and for good reason. This is a super powerful plugin that fluidly fills the bounds of your layer to save you hours of tedious masking and keyframing. It uses your layer or image transparency as a guide for which direction to grow and fill. You can think of it as water that flows to your image and avoids the transparent areas. Use it on animated reveals, texture changes, dissolves, transitions, looping animations, realistic handwriting. It's really simple, just apply autofill, set the growth origin, and play. It also comes with an AE project file that includes 25 ready-to-use presets. Create bouncing animations the easy way with Easy Bounce from Mamo World. Using this tool is a simple two-step process. All you need to do is roughly keyframe the motion path you want, making sure to add a keyframe at each point where the layer will bounce and at the peak. You don't have to worry about the timing or the exact path from the keyframe to keyframe, and then click the Easy Bounce button. This will calculate and create all the physics needed to give you a realistic bouncing movement along the path you've chosen. If you purchase monkey wipes, you're gonna get transitions on steroids. This is a procedural animation system that's gonna give you endless possibilities. It can be as simple as one click to give you a really random look, or you can dive down into a number of different parameters to get something more specific. This works really well with text or layers. There's a ton of preset wipes, transforms, and palettes. It's really intuitive. You can easily brainstorm with this tool via the surprise me mode. There's a built-in text generator for words, lines, or paragraphs. And overall, it's just really fun to play around with. Randomatic 2 allows you to create randomness in Adobe After Effects. With this plugin, you can randomize all 2D, 3D, and even color properties inside of Adobe After Effects. Choose between static random, animated random, or wiggle. You can take tight control over your randomized properties with custom-made controllers. There are three different ways to randomize your colors with gradient, palette, and HSL, and you can also randomize your layers. Randomatic 2 is going to help you get an organic look quickly. Subtitle Pro is another powerful plugin that works in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. It allows you to create subtitles for your video directly in either of these programs. You can import SRT and any other subtitle format or simply write out your desired text manually. Translating and syncing is as simple as a one-click action and importing YouTube SRT files is as easy as copying and pasting that specific YouTube link. Use templates and quickly control subtitles via markers. If you're using this in Adobe After Effects, you can use templates and quickly control subtitles via markers. If you pick up Shadow Studio 2, you're going to drastically increase your shadow options inside of Adobe After Effects. With this, you can quickly create and customize long, diffuse, inner, and radial shadows via simple parameters. You can also take fine control over fall off via opacity, distance, and softness controls. Use quality controls to further tweak render times. And if you're super lazy like me, just slap on one of the five stylistic presets. So if you create and sell After Effects project templates or Mogart templates for Premiere Pro users, this plugin is a really necessary tool. This tool automatically converts the expressions in your After Effects projects so that they are compatible with After Effects running in any language. You can convert comps or entire projects with the simple click of a button, and it's extremely fast. 
Now, if you follow my channel, you know this is just one of my personal favorite plugins here. GeoLayers 3 gives users the power to design and animate maps directly inside of After Effects. It renders custom maps from different online sources, providing direct access to extensive databases of geospatial features of the world. With this plugin, you can easily animate country borders, streets, lakes, rivers, places, regions, driving routes, and even extruded buildings. Now if you have Trapcode Mirror 3, Metal Freeform Pro, or Raw Byte Plexus 3 installed, you can also create these gorgeous 3D landscape setups in one click based on real elevation data. Lockdown is a revolutionary plugin that allows AE users to track warped surfaces, including faces. The new 1.6 version now comes with quad mesh smoothing and a track refinement system. This is a really, really powerful tool. It's especially useful for beauty retouching and other previously difficult cleanup jobs. Another one of my favorite tools here, this allows users to drive animations via specific audio frequencies. Use the integrated frequency view to switch between frequency presets and heights to find the range you're looking for. You can create new ideas by slapping a controller on any property that can be animated. You can create infinite rotations, shape growing beyond the bounds of the screen, or starships flying through space. The interface is clean and intuitive, and this particular tool works well with other plugins. I'm sure everyone here has heard about Mocha. This is the renowned software for planar tracking, rotoscoping, and object removal. Well, there's a lot going on with the new 2021 release. Mocha's planar tracking engine now has the ability to handle warped surfaces via the new Power Mesh subsurface tracking. A new Python script editor is now included, and there's a Just Track 2.0. This is improved track editing, which takes the pain out of correcting the most difficult tracking shots. Sergey from Uker Media is one of my favorite AE creators and instructors. His tutorials are always extremely informative, and the tools released by Uker Media are always incredibly useful. So SmartRect is a perfect example of this. This script takes the rectangle tool and sends it into beast mode, as he writes on the description here. This is a really, really great tool if you work with a lot of text in Adobe After Effects. New features in the 3.2 release include a compact UI layout with default options, advanced fill and stroke UI options, advanced shape size settings for animated text, and manual height options for the auto resize feature. And if you're not already subscribed to Euchre Media's YouTube channel, go do that now. Last but not least, Easy Rulers 2. This was designed to create any type of graphical measuring ruler fast and easy. This is a really amazing tool for anyone looking to create gauges, scopes, speedometers, graphic equalizers, HUDs, UI elements, historical timelines, instrumentation layouts, infographics, audio interfaces, and on and on and on. Okay, so there you have it. Those are some cool premium After Effects plugins that you can check out in 2021. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I'm gonna be publishing more Roundup style videos for tools that you can use in Adobe After Effects. So if you're into that kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to check out that freebie Roundup. I'm gonna to link to that down in the video description.